All right, guys, so I know I said we were going to get some harder trails on video for you guys, kind of some ideas of some trails you might want to try out. Um, so early start this morning, we're going to do the profile trail up to Callaway's Peak. More of a trail system than a trail. The profile trail ties into the grandfather trail, which then goes up to Callaway's Peak. Um, pretty long trail. I'll give you all the details of it at the end of all of this, but uh, let's go get started. So this trail used to start out down the road a little ways, but they just redid it over the last year or so. So I haven't done it in a while, so this is kind of new to me too. They've really improved this trail since I've done it. Uh, kind of loud this morning. There's a lot of truck traffic on the road. We're right off of Highway 105 here. So, a little bit more tra <laughs> road noise than I'd like, but we'll get away from that in a little bit. So I'm kind of starting to get the feeling. I mentioned earlier that this trail used to start a little bit further down the road, and I guess we'll see. Um, but I'm kind of getting the feeling that this new spot that they start at actually just loops around to that old um, starting point, but we'll see. So I'll go ahead and share this with you because I felt kind of silly when it happened. But uh, it's still kind of early, still getting light here in the trees. And uh, I'm walking down the trail and all of a sudden this, I see this big black flash coming up the trail towards me through the trees. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> so I started clapping. because. <laughs> There's bears out here. So I started clapping and this little uh, black sheep dog comes running up to me. <laughs> its owner comes walking up, running up behind it after he heard me clapping. I told him, I said, I just saw a big black flash. I didn't know what that was. <laughs> so exciting moment for the morning.
all right guys so we're about a mile and a half in now um we started the uphill part probably about half a mile ago right around a mile is when you start uphill maybe a little bit before a mile um definitely not to the hard part yet All right, guys, here we are at the first overlook. This is the Fosco view on the profile trail. I haven't checked in in a while because it's been uphill most of the way. As you can tell, I'm kind of warm. Not in as good a shape as I once was. But from there, you can see into Virginia, way out in North Carolina. But kind of a cool little view. There used to be a bench here you could sit on. <laughs> A little bit of a plateau here. All right guys, view number two, profile view. the never-ending staircase.
Oh man, more stairs. Seems like as good a time as any to wash some sweat off. But, uh, 0.4 miles to Grandfather Trail, which is where we're headed. Then we're cutting over to Callaway's Peak. But first, get some sweat off. If only you knew how good that water felt. It is ice cold. But uh, I've actually seen it running harder than that before but we're in the middle of summer so kind of makes sense but that's a blast to get up here all right guys 0.8 miles or under a mile know how fun this mile will be <laughs> you gotta wonder how they get those up here You can really see how the environment or trees have changed as we've climbed in elevation. It's kind of a different world up here. Y'all owe me for this one. So go ahead and subscribe now. All right, guys, so at this point, you have a couple of options. You can go that way, and about two miles, you'll be in the middle of the actual park, Grandfather State Park, where the infamous Swinging Bridge and all that's at, about two miles that way. I've been there, done that, so we're going this way for... 0.4 miles, so about half a mile, and we're going to be up on Callaway's Peak. Trail kind of levels out a little bit here. There's still some uphill to go, but you're not crawling through the boulder field anymore.
Holy crap, guys. So we're kind of hunkered down out of the wind down here so y'all can hear me, <clears throat> but we are certainly in the clouds. <laughs> There's a storm blowing in later on this afternoon and you're kind of getting some of the wind off of it, I think, but uh, pretty windy up here, a little bit chillier up here, uh, but we made it. We're at the top. In case you didn't get enough stairs on the way up. Well guys, we made it back. I will say this, <clears throat> the beginning part of the trail is a lot nicer than it used to be at the old trailhead. Um, and the facility they have up here is a lot nicer. They didn't, they just kind of had like a little lightning shelter at the old one. but. Uh, we're back. We're done. Time to get in the truck and head to the house. See what little dude and Heather are, are up to. But we'll give you a little bit of a look at this facility that they've got now. Alright guys, so I realized well, while I was going up the trail that I think I shot my first little intro with the phone up and down. And I know that drives everybody crazy, so I figured I'll reshoot it. But what we did today, we did the profile trail up to Callaway's Peak in Banner Elk, North Carolina. It's about 20 minutes, the trailhead's about 20 minutes from Boone. Um, probably, I mean it's Banner Elk, but it's probably from the actual town part of Banner Elk, maybe 10, 15 minutes. Um, it's a very hard trail. If you're in good shape, by all means, I highly recommend it. It's a great trail. It's fun, um, and the views are most certainly worth the uh, the work. Uh, if if you've got any kind of ailments, not in the greatest of shape, children, little children, don't do this trail. You'll see in the video. It's it's hard. Uh, and I, I'm in pretty good shape and it's hard for me. Uh, on my way out, I met people with strollers and I actually had to tell them, how far are you planning on going? Because that stroller ain't gonna make it. Um, so just bear that in mind, do your research ahead of time. Make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. Like I said, this is a hard trail. This isn't for your guys that just wanna go out and do a mile in, mile back and on the weekends. Um, this is a hard trail. But anyhow guys, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope you get a chance to get out here and do this trail and you have the ability to do this trail. Like I said, the views are most definitely worth it and it's a lot of fun. If you enjoy being out in nature, it's a ton of fun. Definitely, if you get out here early like I did, don't do this trail with earbuds listening to music while you're, while you're out here. Enjoy the sounds of the birds waking up. It was awesome out there this morning. Uh, but we had a great morning to hike. Uh, the sun's getting up now, it's getting warm. It is 12.01 now, so it's midday, so it's getting warm. 
Uh, so try and get an early start so that you're not hiking up the mountain in the heat. But really just a perfect day for, for hiking and I had a lot of fun. And hopefully the rain holds off because, I don't know, I'm kind of tired of rain. We need it, but I'm kind of tired of it. So, hey guys, hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you get a chance to come out here and do this. And make sure you subscribe down below because I did this trail for you and it was very hard. So make sure you subscribe. You owe me that. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.